since we've been talking about recovery, I think we should talk about the emotional baggage, these painful experiences, traumatic things that have happened to us, mistakes we've made, time spent on compulsions, all of the terrible intrusive images and thoughts and whatevers that we've had to experience on this journey, the loss of control, whether it's the mental health care system or society, relationships, all sorts of things that have been difficult. Quite often we end up carrying them around. Bags of garbage we picked up and we go around looking for a place to get rid of them, to find closure, to find relief, to deal with them in some way because carrying them around all the time starts to get in the way of going places we want to go in life. But here's the thing, carrying around this stuff, looking for a solution and judging these experiences as problems that need solutions is just more of the same very stereotypical classic compulsive patterns that got us into this mess in the first place. We're essentially judging something as a contamination in the past which needs to get cleaned. We're looking to have it cleaned away to feel good about it in some way before we move forward. The thing is, just like it does with any other classic contamination compulsion, so too if we want to scrub the past and clean the past before moving on, we're just going to get ourselves stuck. It's just more of the same compulsive patterns that have been getting in the way uh, that really got us to this place. So it'll help to not see it as some kind of barrier, like, oh, if only I could resolve these difficult experiences from the past, I could finally move forward. You are not a time-traveling janitor. You cannot clean any of those experiences from the past. This doesn't mean we have to just ignore the past and we're going to pretend like it didn't happen. There's nothing, everything is great and we're going to go full toxic positivity. That's not going to clean anything either. We don't have to pretend like the past didn't happen. We don't have to pretend like things weren't painful. Uh, they were part of our experience. We don't have to say that those things shouldn't have happened. They were experiences that happened and we can understand that they were difficult for us and they were painful. We can give ourselves compassion. We can understand even in the present why we want to control those experiences and get some kind of different feeling about them. That is very understandable. So what we do is we celebrate what we know in the present. We give ourselves compassion and understanding and recognize that the way to work on these experiences is not about carrying around the past, looking for some special way to clean the past with time traveling bleach, but instead to give our time and energy to things we want to build and grow in the present. And it's actually here in this moment right now where we get to put down that baggage. In this next moment, we get to make choices that aren't governed by carrying around that baggage, but instead are about looking to our values and what we care about, and then letting go of that need to fix the baggage and clean it away, and instead give our time and energy to what we care about based on the context of this moment and where we are right now and where we want to go in the next moment.